Ho ho ho, it's me, Santa. I like to play Bard. It's pretty fucking cool. He's an amazing champion because with one ultimate you can turn the game around. Just like that, the game is over. So anyway, Merry Christmas and welcome to my Bard tutorial. Fuck that was gay, I'm glad that's over. Anyway, uh, let's get down to business, you know, for an in-depth tutorial. Unlike the fresh Australian tutorial, I'm not really going to follow a step-by-step -step process. It's more going to be an analysis of uh, my plays as Bard, and my motto behind Bard is it's not about your decision making, it's about making other people's decisions. So in this situation, I say to Alistar, you will headbutt the minion. And he does, you know, great success. And then after that, I carefully use my magical journey to negate the damage from Lee Sin's resonating strike. Uh, then I have my support heal me to make me live through the ignite. Uh, then she strategically condemns him into me uh, before I, you know, put him into Zonya's and run away, you know, pretty fucking easy. Now here we have a massive outplay where the two enemies face check the bush, uh, just to, to, you know, get double stunned, you know, it's a bit of a love tap. And then Ezra gets the money shot, and Gianna goes down as well. Uh, I'd like to add, this is, you know, a diamond ranked game, so that was a questionable decision. Uh, let's have a chat about bard combos, because, uh, you know, they're pretty complex. So first up, we're going to talk about a spooky ghost alt combo, but since uh, Riot doesn't have a competent replay system, I had to illustrate it because the replay was corrupted. So if we're gonna, you know, draw Summoner's Rift and Bard, uh, and this is Twitch, and um, yeah, he was split pushing because he was really fed, but then I was sitting in base with Spooky Ghost, I spooked the fuck out of him, froze him, uh, then after he got slowed for shitloads of time, my fucking, I ulted him, and then my teammates came and shat on him, so it was pretty fucking good. Now the next tip many of you probably know, but your ultimate can be used for like to tower dive cunts, so just ulti that shit, and then you can walk past, pretty fucking good. Uh, in this team fight scenario, the enemy team decides to focus Bard, a uh, questionable choice, as it, uh, despite dodging the resonating strike, um, I uh, fucking, you know, I go down, but it's one for four, definitely worth it. Next up, we've got the build. That's, you know, get some Mobies, some Sightstone, then a Spooky Ghost and Iceborne Gauntlet, who's uh, pretty good. Then I prefer Ludens and Locket, but you can kind of do what you want. Uh, then we got Runes. These might look a bit weird to you, but trust me, it works. Got a bit of move speed with the Sugarcane Rune, some early game armor, the attack speed, so you can do your passive, like, quicker. Uh, some AP, you know, it's, it's actually good, trust me. Mastery is pretty normal, you do the only uh, keystone that anyone uses. Uh, you get Biscuit, Mana, etc. Yeah, I get the 45% CDR, it's pretty fun. You can like perma CC people, basically. And then just some basic health stuff. Anyway guys, that's the Australian Bar tutorial. Uh, give that build a shot, uh, leave a comment in the, I don't know, some kind of meme. And I'll see you guys later.